Oh, hey guys, uh, thank you for coming to the channel. Um, this is just a, a fairly short, it's really snowing outside, it's fantastic. This is just a really, I'm so easily distracted. Anyway, this is such a, it's just a short, quick video for you all. Um, so, uh, basically, up until now, uh, I have had one of the, the problems um, Four Sabres has had uh, is the fact that because the lightsabers are a certain length, um, they are over the max length of uh, certain services that I can use for being a courier. Um, and I've uh, gone from using Hermes to using Parcel Force to using uh, oh, someone else to now DHL. Um, and the uh, I, I don't charge shipping. Uh, for UK orders, so UK orders are all fr uh, all fee free. Oh my God, uh, they're all free. So I don't charge for shipping, and this update isn't to say I'm charging for shipping. So don't panic or worry. Um, so the 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 biggest problem I had is with the postal tubes. Now, uh, the lightsaber blades I use are 33 inches long, uh, and I have finally found postal tubes that are AO size or 34.5 inches long which means they're 86 centimeters in length which means that under the 90 centimeter tolerance that is in place at the moment which has been hindering me for years um, now uh, what I'm going to do and effective as of right now any and all any and all orders are going to go out with Royal Mail guaranteed next day delivery before 1 p.m. Uh, every order from now on because um, I, I uh, at the moment I'm going to be honest with you Four Sabres is struggling um, with uh, with so many third party sellers out there with huge advertising budgets it's having a massive impact on the sales for Four Sabres and we just can't uh, I just I just can't keep on paying £17.50 to ship a lights uh, one lightsaber it's it's too much uh, if i send 10 lightsabers that's 170 pounds in shipping just for 10 lightsabers um so with royal mail it means that it'll be 10 pound 50 to send the same thing same amount of cover uh, which is great so if anything happens as it gets damaged or goes missing it's still covered because uh, they cover up to 500 pounds as standard it means that everybody knows it will be with them by 1 p.m. on the day of delivery so it makes it a lot more beneficial to yourselves who are waiting for the lightsaber to get there um, it's still a next day service and it's one of the highest priority services that Royal Mail do so they really look after it and they really make sure it gets there when it needs to get there um, the, um, the other thing is uh, the postal tubes the current postal tube that I use is an extra strong postal tube and it has a 2 mil wall. So it's the really if you've had a lightsaber from us, you know they are really strong. These postal tubes, the new ones, uh, are more expensive, uh, to be honest. Uh, and but the 34 and a half inches long as a postal tube, but the wall thickness is four millimeters thick. These things are like, these are solid. I mean, if you hit someone with one of these mo tubes, you'd most probably knock them out. They're that strong. I mean, it's almost like a solid piece of wood. Um, so, um, the the only negative is, um, I, I I am going to fund as much as I can. So, I'm, I'm paying all the shipping. So, the, the full shipping will be covered by, by Force Sabres by me. Um, but there will be a £4.50 charge for postage and that is literally just to go towards these postal tubes um, the, the postal tubes are around £8 each um, and I don't want to go for a 1.5mm postal tube for the primary reason they haven't got the strength needed and when I did use those sized uh, 1.5mm walled postal tubes they were getting damaged they were getting bent they were getting ripped apart they they were not good at all the the current ones i use the two mil ones very little has gone wrong with those postal tubes they have held up under much, pretty much all circumstances 
uh, but on the rare occasion they still have been damaged quite badly by courier. It was usually always um, Hermes that would damage them. Um, Pulse Force and DHL, Pulse Force actually has as well, uh, DHL hasn't really done any damage to them yet so that's kind of good. Um, but if we're going, if I'm moving on to the 4 mil thick or 4 millimeter thick wall postal tube, man, these things are going to be almost indestructible. You can most probably stand on them and it can most probably take you away of a small, of a, of a child or a small adult without any problems. They are so strong. Um, so there will be uh, a £4.50 postage fee uh, and that is literally just to help cover the cost of these postal tubes. Um, like I said, there's no point not using DHL anymore at £17.50 to then go to Royal Mail and save the money on shipping when I'm then going to be losing all that money and more just on the postal tube. Um, so, you know, it's one of those things. It's not a huge amount of money, uh, to be honest. Um, I, I think it's quite a fair amount and if I can bring it down I will. I don't know how much I can bring it down though because they are really expensive. Uh, just to get 10 of these it's like £100. So, you know, it's, it's not cheap at all. So I'm just asking for your help on that, okay? Uh, the other thing is the chassis. I did a video yesterday about the chassis um, and I, uh, um, I did get a great question by somebody. A lot of interest from a lot of people there, so thank you very much. Um, in regards to chassis, any lightsaber that has been um, has not been sent out by yet by today, by the 10th of March, any lightsaber that hasn't gone out yet will go out with these chassis. Okay, so if you've ordered it with chassis, you'll get the new chassis. And uh, once I have the final iteration of these chassis done. Uh, then they will be standard as to the lightsabers. There won't be any fee for them. They will just be standard. Um, so that hopefully will come into effect around the 17th, if I can. What I need to do is get the next iteration printed off, make sure everything works. If everything works, I can then start doing runs of them and build up a stockpile of these chassis so that uh, there's like 20, 30 of them lying around, so I've always got them to hand. Um, so once that's in place, I can then make them standard. Okay, so that will be coming very soon. You will not have to pay for the option. It won't even be an option. It will just be default. You get them with these really nice chassis in there. So that'll be awesome. Uh, the other thing is, um, as you know, we're going from that chassis to the new chassis. I'm working on a crystal reveal chassis. It is looking good. The first iteration I did did not go quite how I wanted. Really sad, really, sh uh, really a bit of a shame. Um, however, um, I have continued to work on this and the new iteration is what I was hoping for. Uh, I have got some tweaks to make um, and some adjustments to make to it. Uh, so that is something that I'm going to do. But once they are done, uh, I will then be able to uh, reveal the new Kyber Crystal chassis to you all. Uh, I'm also building a brand new lightsaber specifically for this chassis, just for the chassis. Um, so that is going to be something absolutely awesome. Um, so that should be really good. And I will give you a sneak peek. So. This is the crystal chamber for the new chassis. You saw the old one. This is the new one. I've got a little bit of work to do, a few things to work out. But yeah, how nice is that? So that's the new crystal chamber that will be going out on all these sabers. All the sabers that have kyber crystal reveal for one specific saber so if you buy this one saber that's what it'll look like uh, i think it looks awesome it's it's just what i wanted i'm really happy with it uh, like i said i've got to make some slight adjustments before it can roll out uh, and i'm hoping that will be coming out in the next month so hopefully within march 
if I can, hopefully in, within March, it will be out there. So uh, it'll be an option, um, and it should be pretty good, guys. Anyway, I think I think that's everything. I don't think there's anything else to cover, really. Uh, all I can say is thank you so much to all of you for your support. Um, thank you for all the wonderful comments on the videos. Um, uh, if you know someone that would love to see these videos, please share. If you have any friends, you know, please point them this way. Uh, I'll, I'll be completely honest with you guys. At the moment, Four Sabres is really struggling. Uh, there's huge amounts of third-party resellers out popping up every week. Uh, and every single time another one pops up, that's more sales that Four Sabre loses. Um, you know, uh, I, I, I would like to love to carry on doing this. Um, but at the moment, the, the huge down in sales that we're getting, uh, because everyone's buying mass produced LGT Sabres, uh, it's, it's really impacting us. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to lie, there's no point in lying. Um, but the, the amount of support that I get from all you guys is amazing. Uh, so thank you so much. Uh, and any support you can give is, is just hugely appreciated. Uh, so, uh, yeah. The uh, I've got some more little videos like just demos of the handles coming up and that sort of thing. Hopefully, we'll have the new Kyber Crystal Reveal chassis in the near future, which is something I can't wait for. Uh, and uh, yeah, the the new chassis will be standard as part of a stand uh, NeoPixel setup in the very very near future. So great news on that one, guys. So uh, thank you for coming to the channel. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.